There are a lot of nice jerseys in the NHL right now, but that is not what we're focusing on today, as today we're focusing on concept jerseys. So these are jerseys that fans have made themselves uh, as potential jerseys that they would want to see brought to the NHL. So uh, the, the tiers that we have today are S, A, B, C, D, and F, just the basic ones, S obviously being the highest and F being the lowest. So we have two or three per team here, uh, usually one away, one home, and sometimes a third jersey, like an alternate. So we'll just jump straight into it here with the Florida Panthers. And now they do go back to the old logo that they had. Uh, it's not bad. They have the red, the blue, the kind of like yellow beige kind of thing there with some white. Um, I Compared to some of the other ones here, it's not that nice. So I think I'm going to put it in C. It's kind of nice, but it doesn't really do anything too different. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put it in C for now. Next, we got the uh, Colorado Avalanche. This one is definitely different. They definitely went out there with the design. Uh, they just use a nice simple A, but they kind of made it like as a mountain. They have a mountain there at the bottom. Uh, it's pretty nice. I would definitely put it over the Panthers one. So I'm going to put it in B. Uh, I wouldn't want it as like a normal home jersey. But maybe as like a jersey for like a stadium series or a winter classic, I think it'd be really, really nice. So I'm going to put it in B. Next up, we have the Buffalo Sabres, both of them with the, with an alternate. And these ones aren't much different from the normal ones, uh, from the normal home and away. So I'm just going to put them in C. For all of them that aren't that different, I'm just going to put them in C, no matter how nice they are, because they didn't really do anything different. But next, we've got the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, for a third alternate jersey and this one just isn't nice I'm gonna be honest I don't like yellow on a jersey sometimes they do it well but a uh, big reason why I absolutely hate the Predators jerseys because there's just so much yellow so I'm gonna have to put it in D if I'm being honest I just really don't like the yellow the blue looks really nice it's a really nice blue but the yellow I just absolutely hate but on the complete opposite side, we have a really, really nice jersey here for the Calgary Flames. And I'm going to put it in A tier. Uh, I love the yellow logo. I think they did this on a, on a jersey or two uh, quite a while back. But I absolutely love this look with the red, uh, the red jersey with the yellow logo. I think it looks really nice. And they did basically the same thing uh, just with the away jersey. It doesn't work quite as well with this. So... I'm probably going to put it in C. Uh, the home one is really nice. The away one is still nice, but it's not like too crazy. And then we have an absolutely wild jersey here. And it's going straight into F tier. This is absolutely horrible. If the NHL ever released this, I don't think anyone would be happy with the design. Um, it would probably go down as one of the worst NHL jerseys of all time, if I'm being honest. Absolutely terrible. But, we have, but next we have the uh, Vancouver Canucks. They actually have four jerseys here, two alternates. But they've done jerseys very similar to this. These were basically just their home and away jerseys at some point. So I'm going to put them right in C tier there. Still nice jerseys, but nothing too different. Next, we got the uh, Sprite jerseys, like their uh, reverse retros a year or two ago. Um, they're pretty nice. They have a little V with the uh, little Canuck guy there. I'm going to put it probably in B. It's pretty similar to what they did for their reverse retros uh, a year or two ago. But it's different enough, so I'm going to put it in B. And then we got this uh, kind of cream-colored Canucks jersey. This one's pretty nice. I'm probably going to put it in B there. Uh, similar to uh, another jersey. I forget which one I was talking about. Oh, yeah, the Avalanche. Uh, I wouldn't want to see it as just a normal away jersey. But for a, like an outdoor game, it would be really, really nice. So I'm going to put it in B. Next, we've got some Sharks. And by the way, these teams are in completely random order. Like, they're not in alphabetical at all. Uh, but anyway, we got the San Jose Sharks here. And it's definitely different. I don't know if the Sharks have ever used that logo before. Uh, but it's pretty nice. I think I'm going to put it in B there. Yeah, I'm going to put it in B. It's pretty nice. Uh, quite unique as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the away jersey in B with it. Uh, they're both really, really nice jerseys. And on the other side, this alternate jersey really isn't that nice, if I'm being honest. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna put it in D tier. Uh, the, I don't like the stripes on the arms, like they're like diagonal. So I I just don't like that jersey. So I'm gonna put it in D. And this Golden Knights one is absolutely horrible as well. I'm gonna put that in F tier with the Calgary Flames. I don't know what they're doing. It has like red on there with random black stripes and like a light brown. It's not even gold. So absolutely horrible jersey there. I'm gonna put it in F. Sorry to the person who made that. Uh, thinking it was good, but in my opinion, it's just not at all. Uh, but next we got another Golden Knights one. And this one's better, but still not good. Looks like the, the colors on the sleeves are like only on like the front, but all the way around is just white. So I'm probably gonna put this in D uh, with the Sabres and the Sharks. It's just not that good. But on the other side, we have a pretty good Golden Knights one here. I think I'm gonna put this in A with the uh, with the Calgary Flames. I love the uh, the little logo. I think they use it as their shoulder patch. Uh, their first few years as a franchise, uh, I love that logo and the. Uh, Maybe I would have liked to see a little bit of a little bit more gold on there. It's just the thin stripes on the arms and the, the middle of the jersey. But I think the black and the the gray works really well here. So I'm gonna put it in A. Now these two uh, Rangers ones are very similar to their reverse retros, or at least one of them. Uh, but I guess they're different enough. So I'm gonna put the away one in C and the home one in A. Um, I think when I ranked the reverse retros, the Rangers one, which is very similar to this, I think I put in A, so uh, matches quite well. Next we have the uh, alternate jersey for the Rangers, and I mean, their colors are just not red. I mean, it is one of their secondary colors, but it's, I mean, it's okay, but I'm probably going to put it in D. It's just, there's not enough going on. Like, some of these jerseys, there's way too much going on, like the uh, Flames one down here. But this one, it's just too simple. There's just not enough to look at. Um, but next, we have the Ducks, and I don't like this orange on this jersey. So I think I'm going to throw it straight into D tier. Um, the shoulders are orange, but like the top of the sleeves are black. It's just kind of weird. But this, this one is pretty nice. I don't think it quite deserves an A, so I'm gonna put it in B. Uh, I think it, yeah, I think it uh, deserves to be with these other ones. Next, we got a Coyotes one. It uses the old Coyotes logo. I don't know how old this tier list is. Doesn't look like it has the uh, the Kraken, so I think it's quite old. But we have uh, the Coyotes. I like the gradient that they use. I'm gonna put it in B probably. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, kind of similar design to the Canucks one over here. So I'm going to put it in B. Uh, by the way, these tiers are not in order or anything. Like the, the front one is not, I think, the best in the in the tier. I just, you know, put them as, I just put them in as they come. Uh, but we got another uh, Coyotes one here. A little uh, Coyote paw with an A for Arizona. It's pretty nice. It's different for sure. Um, again, not as a uh, normal jersey. But as an alternate, it's pretty good. I'm going to put it in B there. And this one is, this Coyotes one is, it's just okay, I feel like. I'm probably going to put it in C. Next, we've got uh, three Hurricanes ones. Um, I don't know why they made the uh, the logo gray. I'm pretty sure, it's, yeah, it's black usually. Uh, but they got some gray on the sleeves as well, which looks uh, pretty good. I probably would have preferred if they kept the logo as black. I don't know why they changed that. Uh, so I'm going to probably put it in C. If it was black, I might move it up to B. But I'm going to put it in C for now. And same thing with the away. Uh, the gray part of the logo just blends in too much with the with the white of the jersey. So I'm going to put it in C with uh, the home jersey. And this one is just not that good. So I'm going to put it in D. Not much I could say about this. It's pretty simple. But the gray just doesn't really go with all... with. The rest with like the theme of the jersey but next we have an away jersey for the toronto maple leafs um it's not that good <laughs> uh it just they just kind of took the maple leafs logo and took the writing out of it and that's pretty much all they did so i'm probably gonna put it in c uh just right in the middle next we got the toronto arenas looking jersey 
Uh, this is the logo that the Toronto Arena has used. The Leafs have used this a few times, I think, for uh, alternate jerseys. So it's not too different, not too crazy. I'm just going to put in C. But this one is absolutely beautiful. The gold and black uh, Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. This one's going in S for me. Uh, it's definitely out there. It's neither of the Leafs colors. They're, the Leafs are usually blue and white. They use, sorry, they use black and gold, which is definitely different. But I think it works super well. I, I absolutely love that jersey. So I'm going to put it directly into S tier. And next, we got two Bruins jerseys. Um, I'm sure there's a few differences, but I don't really see them. So I'm going to put them in C because they're not really too different from their normal jerseys. And then we got this one, which they did kind of go with that color scheme, that little kind of like basic ones for their new jerseys that they introduced this year. Uh, but it is okay i'm probably gonna put it in b there like i said with a bunch of other ones i wouldn't want to see it as a normal jersey but as a third jersey for an outdoor game or something or a special event it would definitely be cool to see next we got some blackhawks ones and these ones aren't too different from the normal jerseys um i just think they're a little worse uh so i'm just gonna put both of them in c their normal home jerseys probably be in b or a i think their normal ones are really nice but these ones are just worse than the normal ones, so I'm going to put them in C. And then we've got this third one. They have used this logo, I think, as a shoulder patch. I don't think they've ever used it as, like, a primary logo on a jersey. Um, But it's just okay. I'm probably going to put it in B with the other ones there, with the uh, Bruins. Uh, as it's just pretty, it's just, you know, pretty good. Uh, and then we got uh, two more Panthers ones. I don't know why the first one was at the beginning. But this one's just the, the same as the first one, but just an away jersey. So I'm going to put in C with it. And then we got a pretty nice Panthers jersey here, actually. I actually really like that one. I'm not going to put it in A, but I'm going to put it in B above the other two Panthers ones. And then we've got some Islanders ones. These, all three of these are really nice in my opinion. The ones that they just released for the Stadium Series are absolutely horrible. But... Uh, these ones are pretty good, so I'm going to put the home one in A, not quite in S, but in A, and then the away one in B, and then the third one in A with the other one. Uh, they brought the fishermen back like uh, they did, like the actual team did uh, on the reverse retros. Very nice uh, logo, jersey, uh, everything about it is really good, so I'm going to put both of them in A and the other one in B. We got some Dallas Stars ones. Now these ones, I think, are just the same, but they just moved the stripes up a little bit. I may be missing something. I'm definitely not a Stars fan, so I'm not really an expert on their jerseys, but they just look basically the same to what they usually do. So I'm gonna put them in C. And then this one, they did do something like this for I think it was a stadium series against Nashville, if I'm not mistaken. I think in like 2019. So I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna put it probably in B. And then uh, the Devils, this one is probably just like a C tier. They just kind of made the logo all white. And I think that's basically the only thing they changed. So I'm going to put it in C. And this one is actually very, very similar to what they just did uh, for the Stadium Series. It's definitely the best Stadium Series jersey this year. So I'm going to put it in A tier, I think. I really like the jersey in real life, which is very, very similar to this one. You know, there's a possibility that they took inspiration from this concept jersey because it, it is very similar. And this was before the Kraken even existed because they're not on here. So I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe they took uh, inspiration from this concept jersey. But nonetheless, it is a very nice jersey. So I'm going to put it in A. And this one is kind of Christmas themed. You know, we got some white, red, and green. Um, I'm going to put up, uh, I'm going to put it in C here. It's not that good. It's not that bad. Next, we got some oil, some Oilers ones. Uh, these sleeves here, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like a wave kind of shape. Um, if that was like the whole jersey, I guess it would be a little bit better. Probably just going to put in C. Everything other than the little wave there is fine. Uh, the, this one, I don't really like the orange that much. So I'm going to put it in D. And this one is horrible. I'm going to be honest. Like the a little like gradient fade thing. If that was throughout the entire jersey, 
I'd probably put it like a C or a B, but since it just like starts and like cuts down the middle, probably gonna put it in F. I'm gonna be honest, that is a terrible jersey in my opinion. Um, this Penguins one, it's they didn't do anything too special. I'm probably just gonna put in C middle of the pack. Now this one is interesting. It's a nice jersey, but both sleeves are different. I don't know why they did that. If they did either of the patterns on the uh, on both sleeves, it'd be a really nice jersey. Especially one on the left sleeve. If they did this on both sleeves, it'd be really, really nice. Probably like a B or an A. But since it's different on both sides, I'll still give it a B. I'll still give it a B. Because both designs are really good. But if they just picked one, it would uh, probably be an A. But I'm going to put it in B for now. And this one, I think, is literally just what they've used uh, for one of their outdoor games. So I'm going to put it in C. It is still a nice jersey. The uh, blue Penguins jersey, it's an absolute legendary jersey. But it's just what they've used before, so I'm just going to put it in C. Next, we've got some lightning ones. They're not different enough. I'm just going to put them in C. The black one is still nice, but I think I'm still going to put it in C. I don't think it's good enough to go into B. Uh, but it, it's still, you know, a pretty nice jersey. Uh, we're getting to the end here, kind of. But next, we got uh, some Red Wings ones. I think there's just too many stripes on these. The away one, it kind of works. So I'm going to put it in C. But the home one, I don't really like. I'm probably going to put it in D, if I'm being honest. Um, the, I think that it works better with the away more than the home. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the home one up with the uh, away one. And these... Predators ones. I'm gonna put the home one in C and the away one in B. I, I like I like uh, the Red Wings ones. I think the away one works a lot better um, than the home one. So I'm gonna put the away one in D and the home one in C. We got this alternate. I don't know what the three stars symbolize. If anyone's from Nashville or your Predators fans, let me know in the comments. But I don't know what these mean, so I'm going to put them in D. Uh, like I said before, I don't like yellow on jerseys, and there's just too much yellow on this. Uh, so I'm going to put them in D. Next, we've got uh, some Minnesota Wild ones. I like the gradient, the red at the top fading into the green. I, I don't know if it deserves an A. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to put it in A. Uh, I think it's really, really nice there. I would love to see those come into real life. And this one has a green again. It starts with green on the shoulders, fades into white. It's just a middle of the pack. I, I put it in B, actually. I'll put it in B. I, I really like the gradient on the shoulders. I'm going to put it in B tier. Next we have, I feel like they did something very similar to this before. Uh, but either way, it's really nice. So I think I'll put it in B with... I might put it in A for like a outdoor game would be really nice like a winter classic so actually i'm gonna put it in a there i think it would work really really nice for a winter classic and then we got the montreal canadians uh the home jersey i mean i'm wearing a montreal canadians jersey right now and i'm looking at it i can't even find a difference uh from the normal jersey to this concept so i'm gonna put it straight into c and the away jersey i'm just gonna put in c with it uh, it's kind of actually i'm gonna put it in d if i'm being honest it's kind of ugly with if they made the entire top half um red it'd be a little bit better but it just kind of like cuts off in a seemingly random place so i'm gonna put it in d next we got the uh, st louis blues they've literally just used this jersey before so i'm gonna put it straight to c and uh the away jersey is just a c tier jersey it's not too nice not too bad um, I think they have done something very similar to this before as well with the uh, with this jersey. So I'm gonna put it in C as well. A lot in C, but that's to be expected. It's like the middle of the pack. So next we got some Philly ones. This away one is pretty atrocious. I'm gonna put it in D. Not quite F. It's not on the same level as these, but uh, it's still pretty bad. So I'm gonna put it in D. This one is actually pretty nice i think i'm gonna put it in b i like the uh the black with kind of like the cream color and the orange i think it all comes together really nice this one is simple but not too bad i'm gonna put it in 
B, but I'm going to move this one up to A. Because if that one's a B, this one's definitely an A. So it's nice and simple. I probably would have hoped there's a, there was a little bit more on there. But it's still pretty nice, so I'm going to put it in B. Next, we got some Ottawa Senators ones. This one is... They kind of use a logo like this, or at least some other Ottawa team. I don't know if it was the Senators or not. But a Ottawa team like this have used a Shield logo like this. Uh, I'm going to put it probably in C. It's just okay. The stripe is like not even centered. Uh, but, it, you know, it's an okay jersey. This one I actually really, really like. Um, I don't think they've... I, I kind of looks familiar to me, but I don't think they've done any, anything like this. But it's really nice. It has the Maple Leaf for Canada and the Parliament as well. So I'm going to put it in B, I think. Uh, if maybe they put a stripe in the middle instead of on the bottom, it would probably go in A. But I'm going to put it in B. Uh, we're coming down to the last row here after this one. Now we got another Avalanche one. We The second one was an Avalanche one, and now we're back with the Avalanche. This one isn't as nice as the other one, but I think I'm still going to put it in B tier. But it's not quite as good as the other one. Uh, next, we've got some Blue Jackets ones. These ones are just, you know, just nice C tier jerseys. They're just okay. And this one is probably going to go in D. Uh, too much bright red, I think. But it's still pretty nice. This Kings jersey is going into S tier with the black and gold uh, Mini Police ones. I loved when the Kings used purple. Um, I think that the gray that they use now is actually pretty boring. But when they used the black and the purple, it was such a good combo with the uh, the old logo as well. Uh, I loved it when they have that. So uh, bringing it back with this jersey would be awesome. I'm going to put that straight into S tier. This one, very similar, but with white. I think it's literally the same design. I'm going to put it in A almost s tier i think but i'm gonna put it in a coming down to the wire here we have another king's one um i don't know if it deserves a yeah i'm gonna put no i'm gonna put in b actually i'm gonna put in b not quite as nice as the other ones but it's still a pretty nice jersey next we got some winnipeg jets ones this one is not that different from what they usually have so i'm gonna put it in c and this one too much red like the blue jackets one I'm gonna put it in D, and like, I'm sure, like I, like I said before, I'm sure it has some sort of significance, the white on one sleeve, but it just doesn't look that good on a jersey, so I'm gonna put it in D. This one, I'm gonna just put it right in C. It's just an okay jersey, you know, uh, a little, maybe a little too much white. If they added some more blue in there, maybe like the whole sleeve, maybe it can go up to a B, but uh, with just the bottom of the sleeves blue, it'll go in C. And we will end off with three Washington Capitals ones. Um, this one I'm going to put in C. Actually, both of these in C. And then, I know I said I don't like too much red on a jersey. Um, but I think this actually really works. So I'm going to put it in B tier. And that is my finished uh, tier list of these concept jerseys. I'm going to zoom out a little bit on this page to get the entire thing. And I'll zoom it one more time. And there we go. That is my entire finished uh, tier list of these uh, concept jerseys. So I'll zoom back in there. And I will see the community rank here. I just want to see what other people uh, ranked these for. I'm just going to look at maybe one or two. So I'll click onto this guy's here and see how similar mine are. So this guy uh, named his ranks differently. They are ranked, take my money, I want to see these in real life. Pretty good, meh, no, absolutely not, and what on God's green earth. So in take my money, we have the white um, New York Rangers, which is definitely fair. Um, I rank these pretty high as well. They put the uh, black and gold Maple Leafs in meh, which I definitely don't agree with. Uh, I want to see, they put the, okay, they put the black and purple in no, which I definitely don't agree with. And one on God's green earth. Um, yeah, the, the, um, flames one definitely deserves to be down there. Uh, the coyotes one, I put that a little higher. I really like those 
those wild ones i don't know what this guy's problem was with them but that's enough of that one we're gonna look at one more and then i'll end the video this is actually a really long video so if you guys are still here thank you so much until watching to the end uh it really means a lot especially with these long long videos and let's take a look at this person's uh rankings so in beauty they have the two rangers ones which i definitely agree with those ones are really nice Maybe not in top tier, but they're definitely near the top. And uh, just quick scan through. They put these ones in good. Uh, these ones don't seem to really be a fan favorite. Uh, but I definitely love them. And they put these ones in bad. I guess it doesn't really match the, uh, the team colors, but I really like them either way. And yeah, disgusting. These two definitely deserve to be there. This one I, I don't think is that, but it's definitely bad, but not disgusting. Uh, but anyway, that will do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching until the end if you guys are still here. Uh, stay tuned. If you guys like this video, make sure to stay tuned for more um, tier list videos and more hockey videos in general. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.